Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Anime Over Analyst here, and today I am going to be watching episode 5 of Eden's Zero. So, real quick before I begin, I have a couple announcements slash updates. First announcement is that I've made a Patreon, and my plan is to eventually be able to upload these videos early on Patreon, and upload their full versions, and not the edited down ones. So stay tuned for that. Right now, I just have a tier 5 that just has like a pull up, and that's about it. And that's really it. Don't feel like you have to go and watch the Patreon, or go to Patreon or whatnot. I literally just put it up there so that I can post my long, my, you know, full reaction videos because YouTube keeps blocking them. And that actually leads into my second update. So if you go and look in like the Eden Zero playlist or whatnot, you'll notice that episode 3 reaction has been taken down. And that's just mainly because it got blocked. And I tried editing it down in the YouTube studio and it just will not go. It just refused to work. And so, it's not going to be re-uploaded, because I don't think people care too much about that, and I don't want to, you know, annoy people by re-uploading it. So, it's not going to be re-uploaded, but it will be on Patreon at some point, as soon as I can figure out how to upload videos onto there within the right file size because I tried doing it earlier today and the file was too big so I've got to make it smaller my third announcement kind of leading into that second one because my videos keep getting blocked what I'm going to be doing is pausing a lot more that means that you won't be seeing some of my reactions throughout the episode you know sometimes I'll see something and then I will you know like say like a sentence or whatnot about it that's probably going to stop i might be able to squeeze a couple of those in but if i say anything more than one or two sentences then what at least while the anime is playing then i get blocked and so that's not going to happen and so i want to keep it in this type of format However, if the blocking persists, like that my last edit my last video, my episode four reaction, I had to re-upload that like seven times. Seven or eight times. Because it kept getting blocked. If I have the same issues this time around, I'm going to have to put a transparent filter over this. And so if you see a tra if you see like a filter over this whole section here. That's the reason that it just kept on getting blocked. So I got sick and tired of chopping myself up and instead went for a filtered look in hopes that I can bypass the YouTube system. So that's kind of my goal. And yeah, wow, I talked for th that was a three and a half minute intro. I am sorry. Let's just jump right on into this. Oh, I like that art. I like that palette. I'm guessing the bird thing is also a robot. So we've got uh, Dr. Wise here. I keep wanting to call him Stink. Uh, Dr. Wise here, somehow he's managed to infiltrate. Yeah, he's been kind of doing his own thing now that I remember. See, now what? What? the last time we saw him was when we were in that kind of tavern inn. And uh, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of hazy on the details. It's been a week. Watching these weekly, I t I seem to be forgetting bits and pieces. So maybe this will be a show that I should watch. Like I binge and make episodes together. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, we got Doctor Wise. Wise there. Oh, she's so adorable. This soundtrack seems kind of out of place. So it's kind of goofy. This the soundtrack sounds so out of place there. Just crashed our ship. Yeah. I I I like. How Rebecca's like, yeah, my plan is you take them down. Because, you know, guns charge, guns blazing is always the best plan, you know? I just watched the One Piece D&D &D episode, and the main theme was 
take down the main guy and everything will be all right. Which is literally like anime, period. Just take down the big main guy and we'll all be good. Everything can be solved with violence. Duh, it's anime. Okay, yeah, I really like that art style. It's really nice. I just want to strangle this guy. Okay, I would have, I, I would have gone like all fists up by now. Like, come on, how can someone be this heartless? Thank you, Dr. Weiss. You took way too long to save her. <laughs> I stole the droid fair and square. You know, it's fair to steal things. All right, Cheeky, what you going to do? That's so cool. I really like when his hand lights up like that. We got the anime text going. Well, that looked painful. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the second time that Weiss is yeeting out of here. And he looks like he's taking Happy with him. Okay. Okay, Mr. Weiss. So, what I'm getting from his character is that he's a bit of a coward. You know, he was... That was the reason why he was taking so long to try and save Pino, was because he was kind of lurking in the shadows, you know, like, I really don't want to be confrontational, but they're torturing this robot. But I don't want to be confrontational. But I keep hearing her screaming. And now he's like, Okay, mission accomplished. I got her. Time to yeet out of here. <laughs> so, gotta love him for that. Gotta love him for that. Okay, Happy. How did you even get on there in the first place? Okay. I mean, it's shaky. I'm pretty sure he's alright. Pretty sure he's not gonna... That's not gonna crush him. See, she's with me. We're on the same wavelength here, you know. It's taking her... Taking him a while. Maybe he's burrowing underneath. Oh, and she doesn't have happy, so she doesn't have the guns. Ah, uh, just Lucy kick them. <laughs> oh my god, she had the same reaction that I did. <laughs> she had, oh my gosh, we're on like the same light wavelength right now. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I was, I was like, who cares about these guys? They kind of reminded me of, like, the three brothers in, uh, fairy tale. That they're, like, the booty brothers or something. That was so cringy. And just watching that, I'm like, oh, I don't care about these guys. And it looks like Rebecca and me are on the same wavelength. I love that. <laughs> Oh, weirdos want to pick a fight. All right, y'all, y'all are gonna get clapped. Come on, let's just clap these guys and get going. So, does Happy have some kind of analysis ability? He did say, according to my analysis, that it's an older version. And I don't know if that was actually referenced earlier, some kind of analysis ability. Kind of makes me think of observation hockey in, in One Piece for some reason. Who knows? Maybe maybe Happy has unlocked one <laughs> observation hockey. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just looking too much into it. Maybe. But I feel like that's something to keep in mind because, you know, Happy is a robot. So it would make sense for Happy to be, like, connected to the Internet in some way and be able to analyze and do research. I wish that if that was the case, they would show it. Just kind of, I, I wish they kind of showed how Happy was able to make that analysis instead of just saying, oh yeah, that's an older model. Great, she's got Stockholm Syndrome. Okay, so he got kind of pushed into like a trash compactor type deal. Are the walls going to start crumbling? Of course, it's a bug. So, hey, isn't that his friend? I think Michael? Kind of looks like Michael. All right, theory time. Here's the theory. All the robots from that island were maybe Weiss's inventions or Weiss touched up. So my theory is, and please do not correct me in the comments, you know, I'm, I'm just theory crafting right now. I'm thinking that this was the original Michael prototype that obviously got scrapped and that at some point uh, it's going to get you know, remodeled and re-updated and then sent to that island. Because, like I said, currently they're in the past, even though uh, the narrator lady 
in like the last episode said that time does not matter. So that might be something for me to think about. It's like, oh, that could be Michael. Maybe it's just a different, uh, it could also be like a different model because, of course, robots. Except I have yet to see robots of like the same type or same model, but like different types. I'm sure they exist. I just haven't seen like a 2.0 version, for example. Like Happy 2.0, Happy 3.0. Not saying that it couldn't exist. I'm just haven't seen one that's like that yet. So that was my that's my brief little theory. Yep. 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 I just said something like that. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> I am Johnny. Of course. I literally just went on that little bit of a rant about different models and here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Another model. Now I still think my Michael theory could still apply, but yeah, of course. I, I was waiting for something like that. Oh, I think we see more. Yeah, we see more. Okay, okay. Gotcha. It is a robot or an android graveyard. I think they're androids. So sad. So Hollywood, but still so sad. All right, well... We've already established that Sabir's a piece of trash, so we should beat him up. Why are we not beating him up yet? And somehow he survives this. <laughs> Her eyes. Of course. I think I might have found my thumbnail. Or maybe it's that. Shoot him. Please shoot him. I mean, it makes sense if they're obsessed with legs because they're like the leg brothers, but still, like, eh. One thing that I've noticed about this anime, and maybe it's just me, but, like, some of these kicks, some of these hits that Shiki makes, they just don't land right. Like, I don't quite feel their impact. Like, sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. And, like, I feel like throughout this entire episode, I've been kind of like, eh. Maybe I just want better fight choreography. I feel like the fight choreography is pretty one-dimensional so far. Maybe that's it. Like, yeah. And maybe, maybe like, when they go up against uh, Sabir again, the fight choreography will be more back and forth. Because, right, I mean, right now they're establishing that Shiki is pretty OP. Which is, you know, that's pretty good. But... It's almost at the point where it's like, I know that he's OP, but he's just, he's literally like one-shotting everyone. <laughs> but maybe he is the new One Punch Man. He's secretly One Punch Man in disguise. All right. Is it it's time? Oh, I thought it was hold hands time. Why did she, he leave her behind? Kick him in the face, please. Kick him in the face. That was a pretty cool shot, not gonna lie. I like that shot. One punch! Okay, that is cool. I will admit, that is pretty cool. Oh, it looks like he's got some of that uh, ether gear as well. Okay, that's a punch that hit. Of course, of course he made it. That uh, Pino seems to be quite a living creature. And ha him having... Him having grown up on an island with every single robot having their own personality. And I've noticed they go and say robot and android back and forth, so I don't know what the actual technical term is. Uh, but him having grown up on an island where, like, that's what he's known, like, that makes complete sense, and I like that, you know? Of course. And... These robots, these automatons, androids, they all have feelings. They're all very human, which is really cool. So, I do I do like that aspect. I really do. And they all can cry. They all have emotions. Nice! There we go. There we go. I was complaining about the fight choreography, and we've got something a whole lot better. That is a very slow fall. Ah, uh, of course. Of course we got the bird. All right, Pino, kick some butt. Oh, yeah, that's like the cancellation effect thing. That's the cancellation ability. 
<laughs> oh, I love seeing Happy zonked out. Okay, well, I think it was confirmed that Pio is not a robot. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him. Do it, do it. Oh, is it? Is it one of those where it's like circuited laser type guns? Don't worry, he's just in sleep mode. Ah, just a mere flesh wound. Be healed by the next episode. Oh, I've got so many good possible thumbnails. Okay, okay. For a second there, I thought I said Planet Numora, and I was about to go on my Kingdom Hearts like hype train. It's like, oh, they dropped a Numora Easter egg. No, it just said Norma. I want Kingdom Hearts in my Eden Zero. That was a very long <laughs> end. All right, so thoughts about this episode. I like how I complained about the fight choreography and then it got better. That's that's literally my luck. Um, it actually went by pretty fast. It was it felt like a pretty fast episode, so I'm quite happy with that. I mean, I see that I'm I've been recording for thirty three minutes, but that's just mainly me. Flabbing. Um, overall, pretty fun, pretty fun. I do kind of wish that Sabir was a more two or more three dimensional villain besides being like a complete jerk, but like I said, that may just be something for me to keep an eye out. Um, yeah, overall, not bad, not bad. Quite excited to see how. Mr. Professor Wise joins the gang. Wonder if Pino, you know, stays, sticks with the gang. I'm sure they are. I think the episode format for this is actually seasonal. I don't think they're episodic, like uh, Black Clover or Fairy Tale. Um, I'm going to have to look that up again. Because if that's the case and we're on episode five, I'm just kind of curious what. Oh, if this could be like a 12 episode or 24 episode structure and what that ha that is entailed just curious you know that I do know that the seasonal can be great in the in the terms of like lack of filler so that's nice um we'll say that I didn't care for the leg guys at all and yeah, I know that they were obsessed with Rebecca's leg, and I think that was just more for an edgy comedic moment. I just didn't care. Might be a good thumbnail, though. Not gonna lie. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Tell me down below what you think. What do you think of this reaction? Dude, any of my cuts make sense, because I'm sure I'm gonna have to make some weird cuts. Anyways, I've been the Anime Over Analyst, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.